Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. The crafty goblins did everything together, until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited, and together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. We should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone, and with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> love you, Mom. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. Ollie? Ollie? What a waste. I killed mom. I killed 
kilter. doing all right? I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? And instead we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Goblin face is keep, dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can is, well, trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. And welcome back to a uh, Tell Me Why, Chapter Two, Part One. Um, yeah, we're, you've, as you've just seen, we're gonna uh, get going from where we left off last time, where uh, where we found out that Allison was the one that killed the mother and not Tyler um, or Ollie back then. 
So, yeah, it's, um... Seems like they cleared up the place a little bit. But, yeah, um, there was, uh, some weird stuff going on there, and, um... <coughs> what is, uh, even more weird was that the... I don't know what it's called, but, um, the darkness evil thingy that was, uh, uh that they talked about was there. Which gives a sort of net supernatural vibe to it? I don't know. Don't know what it is. We'll see what happens in this chapter. So, uh, let's get on with it, see what's going to happen, because I'm curious. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Uh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. <laughs> well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on it because you wanted a pet chicken. We don't talk about that. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, at least I didn't leave a stain. Uh, that's funny. What to do with this? Does she mean the table? I guess she could just... Just sell it. Maybe someone would be willing to refinish it. I guess so. <coughs> I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah. Still deciding what to do with them. Other happy memories. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... But not really. I get it. It's just weird. Seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Has therapy helped at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy, and she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. At oh, the end of the yeah. day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler, that's made the biggest difference, which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. That's nice. More pictures to look at. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few <coughs> to remind us how far we've come. That's true. I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on, honey. Smile. Like Alice. I knew it. There's something nearby. But where? Here? Looks like it's over here somewhere. Where is it? <coughs> Looks like it should be over there. The outside. Oh. Outside. Where is it? something nearby, but I don't know where. Oh, wait, sorry, wrong button. <laughs> Come on, honey, smile, like Allison. Hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. Oh. <laughs> well. My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I, though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. 
Eddie had to force you to share. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <sighs> Oops, I forgot. What's that? Okay. Goblins were here. What's this doing down here? Is that gum? Ugh. I guess that was probably me. <laughs> yep, that's not what I wanted. Okay. So, go here. <laughs> I completely forgot we had a pet vole for a few days. Poor volcano. She was in rough shape when we found her. Good thing Marianne actually knew what she was doing with injured wildlife. Lasagna! Lasagna! Finish your salad first. Thank you, Tessa. You're a lifesaver. No, oh, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch, too. I'm quite right, love. Uh, she can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry, too. <laughs> Tessa really did keep us all fed. She always tried to take care of everyone. Still does, I guess. True. All right, I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. Do that. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? Mm. What about you? If there's anything you want, speak now. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, <laughs> I'll keep it. Are you gonna keep doing that? I really like that armchair. Are you the forest check? You like the metal smell. It'll look sharp next to your tree stump nightstand. I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. But I was actually thinking it should go in your library. Library? We may not even have a living room. <laughs> I have faith in you. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? <sighs> Guess you are. <laughs> Having fun, are we? Yep. And finally. I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Are you gonna say something? This is getting utterly ridiculous. <laughs> Let's see how far I can take this. <laughs> Is there anyone going to say something? They do. You gonna say something? No? <laughs> Alright, I guess that is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, there we go. One more time, that's it. <laughs> There we go. See? Sometimes patience does help. And persistence. Wait, was something... What's going on? Somewhere, something is happening. Come on, where? Oh, there. Steady now. Take your time. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha-cha. What about me? I wanna clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh. Only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Allison, when we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other one. That sounds fair? Yes. <laughs> you're right. I was kind of being a brat. Good. You acknowledge it. Wait. Oh, that's the thing. That's the thing. Oh, this looks like a nice mm. table. 
Crummy table and wobbly chairs. Yeah, the chairs might not be too... Just sell it. We can make some pretty good money if we sell this. And I know I'd end up eating on the couch most of the time anyway. Tables are overrated. I could turn this thing into a terrarium. Oh. Oh, God. That's... What's that smell? I don't know. Oh, what's going on? Oh, yep. What's that smell? Oh, smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Oh, that's not nice. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of her <coughs> barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Okay. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. Well, ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. That's way too heavy. Just leave it. Hey, Let somebody Allison, else take a care of it. Take a break with me. Dump in, dump in cake ingredients. One can cherry, one can crushed pineapple, eight ounces chopped walnuts crossed out by twins, chocolate chips for the, for the cake mix, two cups of flour. Damn. Every day, please, mom. <laughs> I wish that would work. How are you? Hey, lean free. You want nope. coffee? Nope. Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Mary and the magpie. Oh, well. Let's go, uh... Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? I don't know. Do I? Uh, no, I don't like Earl coffee. Gray or chai. <coughs> Your call. I'm fixing myself a good old cup of joe. Ah, a nice pot of wakey wakey juice. Papa needs his rocket fuel. <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. Hmm? Wait, that doesn't sound good. What's going on? your punishment, said the Ice King. You shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah. You're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. Hmm. I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. Think they're all still in the kitchen drawer? We should go take a look. It's funny that they were so creative with everything. Wait. Not that one. Oh, you're gonna Come check this out. Allison's first drafts. Right. Cause I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. 
She was. Alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Hmm. Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. Yeah, it's... Sam, Tess, and... Someone. didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one? Too bad the law isn't really just. You go here. Hmm. That's a good question. Take it that she would be nice. This one. Yeah, I think it would be something like this. Because dad did the fishing. Or I think it's dead. Then he would be a bear. Something like this? What do I do now? You done? Alright. I think I'm done. You sure? Yeah, definitely. How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people. Or this one. Figured out who inspired the Book of the Goblins. Nice. Okay. You better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will catch us! We need to hide. This way. Who will be the Mad Hunter? <gasps> what's... Oh. What's going on? I... I don't know. I, is he here? Is he really here? Wait, is this imagination or is this real? Go away! Yeah! Go back to the forest! What would, what would that be then? Oh shit. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot about that. We'd been pretending he was there. And then... Suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? No. Allison, wait, it felt way too real. It was us pushing our imagination way too far. I don't know. Great. Hello? Sam Kansky, grandmaster of bad timing. Hmm. We're not done with this conversation. Nope. This is something really interesting. Morning, Sam. Ahoy, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh, I kind of figured you might need some supplies. True. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. Oh, uh, also got something for you, Tyler. Wait, knife? Every man needs a good knife. <laughs> there you are. Thanks, Sam. Nice. Good. It's a nice knife. Good. Yeah. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. <laughs> it was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Yeah, there's more uh, to this thanks. Story. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. That fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Yeah, go. Put Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20 some years. I'll give you a hand. Cool. All right. Box is in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. Cool. We gotta get some electricity in here. It's 
So we're going to the park. Well, I guess right? old bears can learn new tricks. <laughs> yep. Come on. Let's go get our electricity back on. I think that's a great idea. Hey there, Sam. Hello. Uh, so, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. Oh, really? You really helped Marianne. What's wrong with the fuse box? Just be kind. You really helped her out, huh? Oh, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, mm -hmm. I was glad to help. It's more than a few your chores. Your mother, she... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that dark key. We still have our keys? Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh... Hmm. Figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. The door's a bit temperamental. <clears throat> Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son, give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, Better. give it a nice little jerk. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Damn it. No oh, shit. Oh, it's open now. At least the door is open now. <laughs> That's exactly what yeah. I said. Yeah. Uh, Let's go in. That's easy enough to fix. Now, that fuse box. Oh. oh, no, no, no. You and you are going to clean up your mess. I'll take care of the fuse box. Yeah. But I didn't do it. I'm not asking. Go on. You two are just bickering, oh, and <laughs> Sam is a kind guy. All right. Fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Definitely. Let's just first do this. Okay, I have no clue. What should I do? Wait. Oh, it's over here probably. So, um, let's take a look. Look at what. Your the water heater, kitchen, outlet, light, ah, generator heater, garage. Oh, Could shit. finish the whole thing. But Am I seriously going to do? A lot of work for all you want. Uh, crap. Oh wait. Here's what it's done. What is it going to do? I wrapped your electrical board. Huh? I wrapped up your electrical board. I gotta run. But in case you want to check it out, careful not to overload the circuits. You'll have to use 15 amp fuse for the garage. Amps total up hand. to 120 yeah, sure. amps for the whole Thank house. You. Sam, oh, P.S. Pretty shit. proud of myself oh. for once. I've what respected happened? the you right okay? color coding. Uh, Each yeah. fuse should have the right color and color Just coding. A bum knee. Okay. I wrecked it playing ball. So. Football? In college? High it's school. 15 for the garage, which is... No, till. The garage is 15, hurt. so that's okay. Damn. That's rough. Wait, how do I... But how do I know that what the rest is? Okay, so the kitchen would probably be more, I guess. What was it all? The water heater. Sorry, the water heater should have the biggest one. Let's try this one. Um, and you have the the lights, hmm. the kitchen or the outlet. What's the outlet? The problem must be the latch. General no heater. Shit. General it's heater should also be eh, nothing a little the biggest because heating is salt and lime. It's a door latch. Generator. Not a bottle heater. of cheap tequila. Generator <laughs> heater. I don't know. Hmm. And the kitchen. Sure could go for a margarita right about now. Could, um, a margarita. Well, they need to add up to one hundred and twenty, really? right? Hey. Sometimes old Sam likes I don't know. Do I have infinite? Do I have infinites of these or? It says don't overload. It all adds up to. Pretty proud. No amps total up to 120 amp for the whole house. Okay. We need to. Need to do this. I want to get a look at the spindle. Shouldn't we get this cleaned up before we put it back together? 
I just want to check something. Hey, uh... Oh, it's four times, so it's up to 120. What for? 30? You and your gun are always 16? around. Oh, oh, not always. 120. And you can't fend off a bear with smart-ass remarks, 120. you know. We're not but getting is it a gun. everything? The whole house. M's up to toe for M for the whole house. So that's 30 on all of these, then. Or does this go with it? Because that's the generator heater in the garage. That's not the house. Ah, uh, there's mold everywhere. Well, and, don't stick and it your says, nose in there. I wrapped up the electrical board. I got around. Okay, check it out. Careful not to overload the circuits. They're on the north side. I have so to no use sunlight. a 15-amp fuse Sounds for the garage. Like the really screwed that up, huh? Hmm. Hey, I'm probably gonna fill this one. We just Big time. It with um, right? place fuse. Mm -hmm. Pull up to renew the fuse. Too. Well, I usually air out the barn. 30 for the an oil in this water part. heater. Benzied? Hell no. That stuff's Your a water heater. Teak is what you want. Dryer. And water heater, probably. And the kitchen, the outlet. I don't know what the outlet is. Probably. Okay, so we gotta. For the kitchen, let's just do this one as well. You have 15, and. I'm gonna take it that these two are. <coughs> Wait, that's red. That's yellow. A little silver bit. Wait, does that say it's something onto the as grass well? Bit. Yeah, probably. That's probably what so that's 15. Probably so. Probably be 15. Stuff. It yeah, says well, that the garage is 15. I would say here. that the <laughs> generator heater would be 30. Much took an army to keep this place standing. But if it goes to red, then yellow should probably be uh, 20. Ah, okay. Oh yeah, of course. Why didn't I? S oh wait. Why didn't I see that? Huh. Don't Is there any three in one oil in the box? It said that nope. he color coded everything well, correctly for once. Anyways, and the 20 ones are the bolt is. yellow. Uh, I'm so stupid. Does that mean you can't fix so, the there we go. Um, yeah. Hmm? Perfect panel. Seems good. And suddenly they're done. There we go. There was the gun. You damn fool. Everything okay? You, uh... You two look like you got this all in hand, so, um... Hmm. Why do I feel that he might have given her the gun and that she used it completely Bye. wrong? Now he's blaming himself for it for this. What was that about? Hmm. Well, I think it can give a guess on that. Preda rep. Preda rep? What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. <laughs> I sense a story here. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was not funny. Sure thing, B-boy. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um... Huh, Ooh, look at this. Nice. I think this is where she made all her toys. Toilet paper tubes, rope... Cardboard. I wonder what she planned to make there. Maybe a car? Ooh, or a tank. Could be. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead yeah. of just locking herself up out here. Hey there, little buddy. Hmm? Really? <laughs> Are you cooing at a spider? It had better be a tiny one. Don't listen to the mean lady. You're an eight-legged beauty. No. Get away from it. Spiders are the devil. I do not like spiders. Oh, man. I'm going to put together the sweetest toolbox ever. 
You're enjoying yourself. Found Marianne's stash. What's this? Blueberry. Blueberry. Those have definitely gone bad. As far as I'm concerned, they always were. <laughs> Does canned food really expire? I mean, it's airtight, right? Uh, not gonna be the one to test that out. Yeah, not me either. Hmm. Anything else on this side? No. And I guess it's the car. It's a car. I guess it's a car. What are we gonna do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap? <laughs> I'd be my guest. Be my guest. It sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Allison, do you know who this is? Who is what? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but... Eddie's mom? Never Eddie? this one. Oh, wait. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow! broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see Mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. Okay. I feel something strong. It's making my teeth tingle. Wait, is it inside or outside? Over here. I, oh, wait, what? I was over here. Follow the memory, okay. Oh, come on, it's gonna get infected. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Hmm? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? That's I can't question. figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. There's more, I can feel it. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Hmm. Don't I have to choose? Marianne. Uh, I said get out! Out! Wait, wasn't... What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? I think it was more, it's more likely what Ellison said as when um, Eddie himself was asked by these guys if they had uh, the months prior to when she killed, when she was killed, uh, if, if he saw something weird and it was months. So I wonder if that would even, it would be weird. Wait, how do I choose what memory? Oh, I can, I can only remember. Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann. I'm sorry. Please just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait, Definitely. when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. 
That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? Yeah. What was he doing here exactly? He must have had his reasons. That's what I guess. He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, I know he took care of you. But that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne. Even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can. But who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? Definitely. I would go for Allison's memory. Get out. Get out. I know you were just doing your job, but I need you to go before you get in trouble. Please, just get out of here. She sounds a bit more desperate, which makes me... Uh, makes more sense to me when, uh, with what happens later. All right. Say Brown really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell her. It was still the day she attacked us. He still lied. Now what? You need to find out why. We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. Right now. I'll go get my car keys. Let's do it. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I, I would absolutely absolutely go with... Uh, um, let's, Marianne didn't look pissed or... She looked very worried Man. when you saw her uh, handling the gun. I can't believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Yeah. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. That's true, but I don't feel that he's doing that. Oh, but I gotta take this. Don't. Yeah, J just a sec. I'm parking the car. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's good. Nice. Damn, they really got it down with the. Uh, I guess I'll just go snow. stretch my legs then. No. Just give me a sec. Okay, Tina. What's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, oh wow. I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hmm. Hon, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. And it's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Not the right time. It's it's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm I sorry, know. but it'll be a total mess. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay. Well, you tell me when you're ready. Will do. Huh. Well, I think I just made Tina's shit list. Yep. That's what, what's there. Warning. Bear encounters are frequent during salmon, sea, salmon run May to October. Exercise extreme caution along all rivers. Local trials, trails, viewpoints, and glacial roads. During autumn, bears move to higher elevation to feed on berries and den, and den for the winter. Do not feed the bears. Keep all foods properly stowed and contained. Stay alert. Learn to spot fish and game carcasses and scavengers. Make noise while hiking. Bears don't like surprises. Never hike alone. Always carry pepper spray when hiking. In case of, en of encounter, do not run. Stand your ground. Wave your arms. Talk loudly. Do not climb trees or poles. Bears are extremely efficient climbers. In case of violent attack, fight back vigorously. Okay. So basically, just beat that crap out of them. If they aren't going for you. What's this? Oh, thanks for moving on to the side. Yeah, okay, that's the trial. Okay, so I already know that because I saw that at the shop. Oh. Okay. He's there. <clears throat> Ooh, what's this? 
Nice. Hello? Can we do that? There we go. The artist really <laughs> nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. Nice. Looks like you found a nice spot. Oh, wow. We've been here before, right? Could be. I feel like I've been here before. This is a nice spot. This is beautiful. I would wish I could live here or have a little home that I could go on vacation on. There's also a waterfall back there. Yeah, there. Well, let's see what he has to say. So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that you know, to get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? And well. I guess we just grow old and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <sighs> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. No, he didn't. I know! You just don't have to rub it in! Oh, he did? He doesn't get a pass just because this is uncomfortable for you. I'm not giving That's him true. a pass. It's just... hard. I think he's trying to this protect him. This damn situation is too hard. Bad. You think I liked learning all that shit about Tessa? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. Yeah. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. Yeah, that's true. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. Yeah. That's why we're doing all this, right? But all, but all these answers are ruining a life. Because everything's upside down. You want to sulk all day? I like this view. Hey, you want me about this? I like this view. Her hometown looks pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. So, you really want to live somewhere super secluded like this? Alone in a cave? Speaking for the trees? No, I, I do. Would. Is it really that hard to imagine? That's true. I just don't think of you as a loner. You and I always did everything together. <laughs> well, you're way less terrible than other people. <laughs> oh, that's a compliment. <laughs> Do I do something or? Hey, it's starting to snow. Nice. You feeling that, Ty? Yeah. Found you! North Star! Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. Wow. These two were really close. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. <laughs> Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. You look the little freaks. No one else could play with us. Well, that's probably true. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. 
For real? You never wanted any other friends? Nah, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. That's the way to so, think about it. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. True. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. <laughs> you were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure. <laughs> I'll try my best. Well, everybody has his plus and ups and downs, so... So, really... I have to warn you. I'm not sure we're getting any answers out of Eddie. You won't have a choice. Well, we're not ten years old anymore. True. He tries to protect me from everything. Occupational hazard. He was always so worried about how I was left out at school, so he'd make me throw these huge birthday parties and invite everyone. Well, that's and they'd all have to show up because you were the chief's daughter? Bingo. But then they didn't actually talk to me, so I felt like a stranger in my own house. I know the feeling. It doesn't really work. Mm. Mm -mm. Remember that time both the bridges collapsed? Yeah. It was a week before they got the roads reopened. And Sam had to bring us supplies with his boat. Felt like our house was on a deserted island. But way colder. What? Why does it say Luke? People come here from thousands of miles away to look at that glacier. And we get to see it from our deck. Hey, you should remember that sales pitch for when we have another buyer. Yes. More snow coming, I feel. We did a good job on the snow, you know. Hey, what are you doing? Hey! Look what I found! What did you find? Ooh! Ollie and Allison. Aha! I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still <laughs> is. All it needs is a little update. Now. What are you doing? Making a tea. Uh, what I wanted to do back then, but uh, I didn't have the guts. Oh. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. You gonna see it? There we go. But back then, he didn't know he his name would be Tyler. So that's... That's fine. I like these two. They're so close together. And understand each other's points. So, even. what's the plan? Or the emotions. Just wait inside. We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Oh, you're on a war path now. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be- Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Okay. Well, that's not good. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make... Hey. He speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? Uh, happy to see Allison. It's been good to see Allison. <laughs> She's been talking nonstop about you lately. 
I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. I love working with those kids. It was tough work. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. What's the JCE? JCE? You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh. 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 Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Oh. Hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Middle-aged adult. Said you two were going to be knee-deep in trash for a few days. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Huh. Yes, you got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof. I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so... I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well, <laughs> I'll let you work. I wouldn't yeah, mind no spending extra You're time with your mom. <laughs> Even when I was a teenager. Dr. Torres, <sighs> what do you have to say? You said your daughter was with you during the... Tyler interview? Ronan. Yes, she Good was. to see you again. I'll need her information You've too. gotten tall. You that usually day? happens between ages 11 and 21. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, well, uh, welcome home. Henderson. Different last name? It's been a while. Yes, her father's. Thanks. It's been a while. So, what brings you two around? Uh, neon lights and smelly food. Because of my hours. We're here to see Chief Brown. Oh, boy. What do you do now? Suspects wanted for a felony. Oh, well, don't forget to read him as Miranda rights. <laughs> so, is there anything I can help you with? Um... Uh, uh, I shouldn't bring this up. No, I'm just gonna say, how's your day? Busy day around here? Well, the fire alarm went off three times in the span of an hour this morning. Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought the chief was gonna rip that alarm right off the wall. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do that. Wait, where is... I'll make it up to you, I promise. was dispatched to your home at 6.29 a.m. Wait, why is she there? to give a statement? I had to be in surgery at nine. Okay, so I, I can't really talk behind. to him at the moment because he's probably busy. It says here you work at Cotton. Can really That's right. interrupt him. Sure is I don't want to um, bother other people with uh, our ordeals because if I go and right. include him in it, then he will probably be annoyed. I'm basically always on call. Ah, yeah, of course. Well, listen, we really appreciate you coming in after a 24-hour shift. Did you need something, Allison? Uh, yeah. Tyler? Uh, can you come here? I'm here. What's up? Can I do anything? Uh, talk. Morning, Chief Brown. Well? Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? <sighs> What's going on, you two? No, no. We had a few more questions about our mother. This is not going to happen. Now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Either keep your mouth shut. Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Take it easy, man. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. Oh, no, you didn't? I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Well, <coughs> it's, it's a bit oh, sus. I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? I don't think you should uh, get to the truth ourselves. Where were we? We're gonna get to the truth ourselves. Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. 
So oh. I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? Oh, that's maybe the archive room. Okay, that's not what I maybe thought Eddie's it office? would go to. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? No, 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 go no. Go big no. or go home. Could you go through the full details of your morning, oh, morning shit. Dr. Torres? Of course. I will go. Well, I could. Bye. Okay, I don't see really another option. So, Tyler, Chief said you were a mentor over at Fireweed, so huh? You ever think of joining the force? Greg, he just got here. Yeah, I know, but we could use more people like him. People like me. People like me? Well, yeah, you know, people with natural authority. Are you really trying to Still recruit like my brother? Dark, but huh. And why not? We're short-handed right now. Someone and since you've shot down my offers, I figured <laughs> I'd try the other Ronin kid. Mine hurt to lower the average age around here, I guess. But <laughs> Okay, so I can't really... Now, where was I in this report? Ah, right. So I can't get him to, t uh, to do that again. Ah, oh, shit. They were gone. A like I kid. was thinking, mm. if I could just she said. keep everybody kid. else out of this, but now I'm you? thinking like I should have asked him, because if he would say I could do it and Eddie Sorry. doesn't want to, then he can do it. But yeah, yeah, it sucks. Hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, mother nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room, behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. Nope. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Uh, you know, Greg's was talking about a fire drill earlier. Are there any kind of fire exits? Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby, now. Where's Isabella now? No oh, shit. I didn't want to go this way. I really didn't. Uh, I know where they're. Let me look at this. All right. Let's see. There. Fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, mm -hmm. but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. Definitely. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Yeah. Wait, really? Got a better idea? Ah, oh, shit. Ah. Not really. No. Right. Let's go. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> this is not gonna work. This is not gonna work. Do I need to do anything here? Oh, no. <laughs> Seriously, I'm gonna fuck. <laughs> Guess I probably can't trip the circuit breaker, but I could turn the lights off. Just go, improvise. <laughs> let's, do, let's turn the light out. Let's see what happens. This is gonna be so awkward. Just, oh, oh, oops. Tyler. Just oh, sorry. Didn't mean it. Well, that went better than expected. Right. I'm in position. What? You head now? Um. Yeah, I gotta go. Uh, yeah, gotta get going. Where's Allison? Oh, she's in the bathroom. I don't know. Bathroom. I'm uh, gonna, gonna wait for her outside. All right. See you around. Later. Oh crap! I shouldn't have done that. Zero weather. That would be Vincenzi. He's got a bike for every season. Names him too. What's this one called? Duncan Rocket. Shit. Where are you? Right here. Open the door. Well, that's not gonna trip the alarm, right? Oh God, what did I just do? You took control of your destiny. Own it. Come in. Close the door. Now that we're in, let's 
don't think you'll... Ah, oh, crap. If Eddie catches us in here... There's no turning back now. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fireweed. Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find it and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but <laughs> that's a lot of money. More back doors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. Nope. It's weird, though, that they have so much money going... You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. Okay, so that's Michael not really... Were supposed to go together. Let's go. He went, but Don't I was stuck here. here for the summer with no one but Justin Beaver for company. Why? Well, uh, this letter says you got in. What the hell? So he just turned it down? I'm sorry, Alice. Huh. Hey, you. Well, that sucks. That just makes a bigger, a much bigger Though hole in all of this. we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. Hey, this is weird. There's so much here that's not being told. Oh, God, I'm gonna go on this computer. Huh, the Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. Finally. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't mm -hmm. think he has a choice. There's always a choice. Work history, US military, sandwich artist, metro sandwich. Donald M. Mert. What's this? Army of the United States, General Discharge. Under honorable conditions from the Armed Forces of the United States, this is certified. That Donald M. Merritt, Private First Class Regular Army, was discharged from the Army of the United States in September under honorable conditions. Okay. Probably not the best to stay here too much. I guess I'm probably missing the. Oh, well, am I missing the emails? Are you yep. sure you checked all the emails? Nope. What's this? Um. Need to go down people were people we are all adults here whoever keeps leaving dirty dishes in the sink okay that's not what i need man who pissed cereal on this morning okay, that's oh didn't find anything well maybe a shipment it's no man upcoming council business bias training something huh. dinner tom invited eddie over for dinner oh yeah uh he's been trying way too hard to get eddie's endorsement Does whoa Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? Regarding your request this morning what about Ronan? I don't, I don't know. But yet, there's a so reference number. R6 8653. Transcript of the phone calls have been taken out, but you can you can find the digitized calls through the appendix. Let me know if you need anything. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's got to be where our file is. Oh lord, that's not going to be good. Why? If. What's uh, going on over here? This is getting more interesting by the minute. Is this... Wait, he isn't seeing us here? That's weird. Ah, oh, shit. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. So? The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. How should I know? Oh lordy. Um. That's okay. That's da. Dum. Okay, so six. Six zero. Okay, six. Oh, yeah, that's not gonna work. I yeah. don't think that's the right order. It's, so it's six. 
Zero. The first two seem to be. Okay, how did the tune go? How did that tune go again? Dum da dee do. I'm sorry. I don't think I got that. Dum da dee. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you never told me you had perfect pitch. Shut up. So the first two were good. Wait, shit, now I'm doing it again. The first two seem to be right. Yeah, I know. That's it. Yes. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, this is a lot of archives. I'm not feeling comfortable with this, but neither are they, I guess. Ah, uh, looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Well, perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half ton sorting system. Yep. That's this is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. Uh, what? What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. That's Reach out true. if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. And I'm going to leave it there. Um, I'm out of time for now. Um, thank you for tuning in. Hope you are just as interested in this story as I am. Because I am on my toes here. I really want to know what's going on. Because I thought I could trust Eddie. Um, especially as what he was saying the first time that we met him. And I was like, well, he's a good guy. Nothing wrong with him. Uh, why would I worry about him being someone bad? But now he's becoming more suspicious as we go. And that's really fucking me out uh everything that i thought was there wasn't there or is changing at the moment so we'll see what's going to happen in the next episode anyway thank you for tuning in i hope you enjoyed uh don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and you want to stay up to date with everything um of course so uh i hope you will do that and otherwise uh, let me know in the comments what you think of the story because uh, i'm interested in what you think uh, of the story so far uh don't spoil it because i don't want to know what's going to happen because it's seeming very interesting and i'm really looking forward to the uh, next episode so again thank you and see you in the next episode cheers